it's a tricky question. And maybe we can lobby on that. Well, you can sometimes you cannot do other activities. You cannot provide activities that get you money. You are at a very young stage in your in your organization. Well, I'll be honest. The little people started completely by my own financing. It was my own. I believed in it so much that I paid for everything until the expansion at Santa Cruz. How many years? Ten years. Okay. Putting in my own cash. Because I believe in that. Of course, I had to work full time. I've got a wife and three kids. <laughs> they're never expensive, but they're lesser. They're not <laughs> but you know, no, they're not. I mean, it's a joke. But you know what I mean? It, it comes down to that. If you're in it, why are you in it? You see a social need, you want to solve that, you want to fill that gap, social need, you have to put your own cash in sometimes. It's painful. But it, it, little people is a success, I believe, because of that determination at the very beginning. Also, I want to add that, for example, for um, our donors as well, um, we we only have, let's say, uh, the friends of our president who support us regularly. So. You have a limited pool, you're saying. The corporation are not giving money for the service. So the she said corporations in general are not giving money for service. Well, that is not entirely true based on the experience I have. That's why she said generally. Yes. <laughs> is that with your previous NGO? Yeah. Is that with the, yeah. You know, well, you, they, they were quite well financed by French businesses. Still are. But why do French businesses just all stick together and finance the same thing? Because they have a different understanding of the social, um, en social enterprise made by NGOs. It's really? us, the French, they do that in France, yeah. so basically they understand they need to do to okay. be done here as well. Yeah. Okay, we have so time. we don't have any percentage from you <laughs> for the for the audience. Um, on what should be the amount of the of so the percentage of the salary you require she just said essentially probably with sense of if I can paraphrase the other companies I know, generally they don't include it. It's very hard. It's challenging. You have to find a way for a project to rationalize it and really finitely explain the reasons behind it. I think it's so hard to say, generally speaking on it, because it's not something you have as a standardized approach. It's tricky. Yeah. On the other hand, there are international financing, uh, international funds, you know, that they are not sponsoring or paying. The salary. They are just providing money for I don't know, equipment or uh, administrative uh, costs, but they are not paying salaries. And they are, you just have you know, international fund for the dollars. They are not giving money for salaries as well. So, yeah. I, I know we have, so we have four companies that finance just salaries of little people, just so you know. So we, we, we want this salary picked up. And that's what we want your money for. We have we have companies who do that, just that. And but they understand the need to do yes. that. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, listen, what I would like to do now, because we're running on time, I know a lot of you need to go. So what I would like to do is this one thing. First of all, uh, if you have extra questions, we can keep it going for a little bit. Can we stay another ten minutes, maybe? I know you need to run to the bathroom, but you can ask us informally afterwards. And then everybody has in their packets. We have a questionnaire form uh, asking about what you'd like to see for future conferences, what you would like to see involved here. Remember, the center is kind of for you guys. So any input that you can give us on what type of mission or uh, ideas or presentations we should have, please take just a little bit of time to fill that out. We'd really appreciate it. Uh, as well as, again, Monster School of Management offers two scholarships per year at 15,000 euro value. We, it's a competition for it. Please apply if you want to uh, be involved in our program. We'll love to have some really wonderful shared social value types of people here. Uh, last and not least, but so, I need to um, hand it over to her. So, no, uh, it's again, um, um, maybe you already mentioned this to them, but when they fit, they fill in the questionnaire. Um, so in case you didn't, uh, the topic of transparency and letting your uh, um, the company or the person from which you receive uh, the funds 
letting them, them know how you have used those farms and how you capitalized on those farms. So, yeah, please tell them a couple of things about that because I know that that's, that's a, a topic on which 80% of the NGOs in Romania fail. We really knocked that part out. Yeah, uh, yeah in oh. transparency, she brought it up, and great point to bring it up again. I think that's a great way to finalize and finish on everybody in here. Transparent relationships mean a better society for everyone involved. So, last and foremost, well, can we have we have some bags for our guests? These are just bags, but can we give a round of applause, please, for them tonight? <laughs> questions informally uh, for the next 20 minutes and thank you again for coming thank you for the evening and thank you for doing what you do you're necessary here thank you, thank you.